we have learned counting in twos so we will see it again as we will be learning table 2 we've learned table 1 now we will be learning table 2 so before that we will do counting in twos so I have some shoes with me so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine now I have ten odds of shoes with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so shall we write the number down below the shoes so it will be easy for us to count in twos so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have ten odds of shoes with me now we are going to put it in pairs that is in twos so i have the first pair of shoes so it is two then i have the next pair of shoes i have the second pair of shoes which is four the next pair of shoes so i'm i'm grouping it in pairs in twos the next is twos and the next in twos so i have five pairs of shoes that is grouped into two each so two four six eight ten so from two i will go to four then i will go to six eight and ten so this is counting in twos so today we are going to learn table two so are you ready children to learn table two it is going to be a very simple and easy method for you to buy it tables is something that you need to buy at and is very important for our everyday calculation so shall we learn table two today so we are going to start off by drawing a five by two column and row So two rows and five columns. So one, two, three, four and five. So we have two rows, two rows and five columns. One, two, three, four, five. Five columns. So we'll start off by writing in twos. So we're going to write two, four, six eight and in the last column you will only write zero so shall we see this again so in the first row you will write the counting in twos that is two four six eight and the last column you will write zero and then in the next row again we are going to write counting in twos that is two four six eight and in the last column zero so again in the second column we are going to write the skip counting in twos that is two four six eight 
and in the last column alone we are writing the 0. Now in the tens place, in the first column, in the tens place we are going to write 0 in all the columns. So we are going to write 0 in all the columns except the last column which we will be writing zero, 1. So we will write 0, 0, 0, 0 and only in the last column we will write 1. So I will repeat this again children. In the first column, in the first row I am going to write 0 in the tens house. That is 0, 0, 0, 0 and in the last box alone I am writing 1. Now when we move on to the next row we are going to write in the tens house we are going to write 1 in all the columns. So I will write 1, 1, 1, 1 and in the last box I am going to write 2. That is in the tens house we will write 2. So are you ready to listen to me? We will do it again. So we are going to start off by drawing a 5 columns by 2 rows and then we will start off by writing the counting in 2's. So we will write 2, 4, 6, 8 and only in the last column we are writing 0. Then we will move on to the next row. Again we will write the counting in 2's that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and as usual in the last column you will write 0. Then when we come to the first row in the tens house we will write 0 against all the numbers except the last column where we will write 1. So we will write 0, 0, 0, 0 and we will write 1. When we move on to the next row, we will write in the tens house 1 by the side of the numbers 1, 1, 1, 1. Except for the last column, we will write 2 in the tens house. So this is your 2 times table or your table 2. So it is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 18, 20. So this is your table 2. Now we are going to write the table 2 in its normal usual form. So we are going to write 2. We will write table 2. So we are learning table 2. So, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 2 gives us 4. 2 times 3 gives us 6. 2 times 4 gives us 8. 2 times 5 gives us 10. 2 times 6 gives us 12. 2 times 7 gives us 14. 2 times 8 gives us 16. 2 times 9 gives us 18 and 2 times 20, 10 gives us 20. So 2 times 10 gives us 20. So this is our table 2. So 2 times 1 that is you calculate 2 once. It gives you 2. So 2 times 2. So 2 into 2 will give you 4. 2 times 3 gives you 6. 2 times 4 gives you 8. 2 times 5 gives you 10. 
2 times 6 gives us 12. 2 times 7 gives us 14. 2 times 8 gives you 16. 2 times 9 gives us 18. And 2 times 10 gives us 20. So this is your table 2. So I do hope you understood table 2. And it is very important for you to memorize your tables.